take you back to your early days. Yes. Very, very, I mean, you said it wasn't even poverty that you came up in. It was po, which is even worse than poverty. You, you did real good with that word. Thank you. you. you know, being <laughs> a Did I say it right? In a <laughs> you British got it way. good, yeah. Po. So tell me about po. How po was it? Well, when your dad was working very, very hard, and we could only get lunch money one day a week to go to grade school. And the other four days, uh, our lunch consisted of whatever, whatever my mother could scrape together from the dinner the night before. Uh, we would have sandwiches with no meat. What, so is, what is your calling right now? Why do you feel this burning desire to be president, a job that many people view as one of the most thankless jobs right. in the world. My calling is to make a difference. And I have done this all my life. I never dreamed that I would have a calling to make a difference at this level. But it really goes back to 1999 when my first grandchild was born. And I looked in her face, and the first thought that went through my mind, the first thought that went through my mind was, what do I do to make this a better nation and a better world? I didn't know the answer then. And it took 12 years for this journey to unfold. As a black man who is now leading the Tea Party charge, how do you deal with that element in the Tea Party that is overtly racist? Let me say that my experience has been there is no more a racist element in the Tea Party than there is in the general population at large. It isn't. It is not. If, if there is, it's not. This is the biggest misperception. I spoke at the first Tea Party event that I ever spoke at, April 15, 2009. I have spoken at hundreds of Tea Parties. It's not a racist organization. Why don't you like using African American, by the way? Because as I trace my roots back in this country, my, the majority of my roots, the ones that are more meaningful to me, were the slaves that were my foreparents, my forefathers. And so I identify as a black American, more so than an African American. Yes, many of the slaves came from Africa, but my heritage is mostly here in the United States with the, the country went through slavery, we went through the civil rights movement, so I prefer the term black American rather than African American. That's going back too far.